I believe that there must be some possibility of creditors suffering some loss upon the resolution of a large institution. I mean, you've even pointed out in the past that Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, these are examples of where big is good. Uh, I absolutely think there are benefits from being big, but there is, should certainly not be a concept that big is bad. And John's idea was one way of dealing with the problem. There are other ways, but certainly there should not be a too big to fail, which creates a competitive advantage for the very largest institutions. I do want to talk very briefly about at least one of those institutions because it was a big week for that institution last week, Bank of America. John, it was the firm took over Merrill Lynch, you know well. I want to ask you a question. Did you want the job that Brian Moynihan got, CEO of Bank of America? I, I'm so curious, I simply have to ask. Well, that, that's a tough thing to really ask me because, of course, I left there almost a year ago and I was never a candidate for that job and it, it, it is a tough job and, uh, you know, I, I, I think, uh, I think you know, Brian's going to have a tough, tough job going forward. When you say tough, what do you have in mind? I mean, if you were sitting in his shoes, knowing Bank of America's balance sheet the way that you do, knowing Merrill Lynch's balance sheet the way that you do, what would your priorities be as CEO? Well, it's a very large institution. It has a whole broad range of businesses, um, integrating those businesses and really taking advantage of the fundamental business strategy, which makes sense. So the, the acquisition of Merrill Lynch, the combination of Merrill's uh, wealth management, securities business, investment banking business, with the range of businesses of Bank America, there's a lot of opportunity to get synergies there, but that's still a tough job. What do you make of the way that Moynihan is managing the bonus issue? It seems like he's paying out record bonuses but decreasing incentive pay. Is that the right way to go? Is that the right way for Wall Street to go? You know, I, I haven't really been able to see what exactly they're doing. I, I don't think we know yet. I think that um, paying bonuses um, that's going to be competitive so that they don't lose people is going to be necessary. I don't want to focus the conversation here on John exclusively, Raj, but I do have one other question for him. Uh, I'm, I am somewhat surprised to find out that you weren't a candidate for the job and all that you knew about Merrill Lynch and all that you came to know in a short period of time about Bank of America, but I do want to know this. What do you think your next job is going to be? <laughs> well, I'm working on that, and uh, I can't really say yet, but um, I'm working on what I want to do next because I definitely do want to work. Is it safe to say that you want to return to Wall Street in a senior capacity? You know, I, I think that's not necessarily the case, and so I, I'm really looking at a broader range of opportunities right now. And Raj, we should ask you the same thing because a few years ago you were going to retire and then I think you got sucked back in as, as uh, many people called on you for uh, assistance, for help uh, through the crisis. As Eric mentioned, you've probably been uh, sort of had the bird's eye view and an in-depth view of this crisis. Um, what's coming up for you? Uh, I think more of the same, although perhaps at a less frenzied pace because hopefully the world will be at a less frenzied pace. But I very much enjoy what I'm doing.